Welcome back. Uh, we are talking, one of my favorite elements of golf is the fundamentals of the swing. I'm joined by the director of golf at the Maroon Creek Club in Aspen, Colorado. That's correct. Mr. Scott Irwin. Scott, welcome to the show. Thank you, Daniel. Why don't you uh, introduce yourself first to our viewers, tell okay. us a little bit about who you are. All right. Uh, my career started in the early 70s playing the South African and Asian and Canadian, a little bit in Europe, PGA Tour events. And uh, it was not a success playing the Tour in those days, but I did uh, meet a lot of great players and learn a lot about the game of golf, and particularly the golf swing. And have been a student of the game for 40 years now, taught golf a great deal, and uh, realized that there are elements of the golf swing that are still the same as they were 70 years ago when Byron Nelson Ben Hogan, Peter Thompson, some of the great players play golf. So in one element in particular, I read your article called The Lowercase Y. Yes. Why don't you, I think that's kind of where we're going with this. Okay. Why don't you tell our viewers about the lowercase Y and what, what that is? You know, if you analyze great golf swings through the years and you look at uh, Ben Hogan who had a flat swing and Byron Nelson who had an upright swing and then you see Jim Furyk with an upright swing and Matt Kuchar with a flat swing and you go, well, what am I supposed to do? The truth is there's a number of backswings that will work. And uh, on the downswing, you may have a key thought like some of the golfers do these days where they may start the downswing with their feet rolling or their knees driving or their hips turning. That's just a preference. There's no law for that. But the one thing that all golfers, all great players have in common when they hit a good golf shot is their golf club and their arms form a lowercase y. So this would be a capital Y. And this would be a lowercase y. Hmm. So if I froze my body in motion during the golf swing, that's what your arms and golf club would look like for every great player for the last 70 years. That no added, that's at the point of impact. That's correct. Now, so what you're saying basically is when you take a, a Jim Furyk, who has a right. very awkward or unconventional takeaway, right. or even a Graham McDowell. I heard David Faraday say Graham McDowell gets it so laid off that he could swing underneath a coffee table. Right. You know, those awkward-looking backswings. Or, or Bubba Watson, it goes over the top. Bubba Watson, straight up and over the top. Right. But you're saying all three of those players at the point of impact are in the same position. A absolutely. The only difference would be if you, t if you take a golfer like an Ernie Els or a Ben Hogan who have a very weak grip, that's with both hands on top, they're going to have less of a pronounced lowercase lower, lower y than a golfer like Bubba Watson or Arnold Palmer or Peter Thompson, who won th five British Opens, they're going to have a much stronger grip with their left and right hand turned over more to the right. So when they get to impact, their lowercase y has got to be even more pronounced in order for the club face to be square. I see. So the stronger the grip, the more your hands have to be in front to hit the ball on the downswing. And the hands, you said, to hit a good, good golf shot with a square club face, hands always have to be leading That's correct. The swing. You can't if hit the ball first otherwise. Now, and it would even be true with a driver <clears throat> off a tee. Same thing. are in front. Yes, they're not quite as far in front as they would be with a pitching wedge. Because you're sweeping. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, we, we, we're talking about the best players in the world here. Right. And, uh, uh, you know, that, that's great because all these guys are striking yeah. the ball pretty solidly. So you would assume they've got sort of a mastery on this. Yeah. What, what, what we're not talking about is that 12, 15, 20 handicapper. How, how would you teach the, the lowercase y to that golfer? And uh, I'll give you a great example. I had a problem for a while. There we go. Um, with holding on to the club through impact and kind of getting a chicken wing with my left arm. So clearly that doesn't look like a lowercase y. Right. At impact, uh, I see a lot of amateur or higher handicappers who will either do that holding on and not releasing or flipping their hands at impact. Right. How would you address those issues? The average, go ahead and take your stance. The average golfer will come into the golf ball and many times will flip and break his wrist trying to hit the golf ball. That's not what a good player is doing. Go back to the, to the backswing again and come down. When a good player gets to impact, he doesn't flip his wrist. He lets his forearms roll over, rotate as his hips turn through the shot, and that's why they finish in this position. So they're not slapping at it with their wrist or their hands at impact. They're swinging through. As a matter of fact, if you stop, had a stop action shot, of any good player at impact, his wrists are never broken. They're in that position. That would be true with a driver. If you even carried the swing on through to here, their wrists still haven't broken. The ball's 100 yards down the fairway. They're in the process of rotating over, but the wrists don't break until at the end of the follow through. So, you know, I think that, that's, that's a point of a confusion, I think, with a lot of amateurs. I think they think, 
when talking about releasing right. the hands, it's more of a hand flip, which turns into what you said is a technically a right. slap, right? Which Correct. which causes a lot of erratic golf shots and a significant loss in power, I would imagine. Yes. So so the real release is actually happening with the forearms. Correct. Through impact and then into the follow through. When you watch a, a really good player swing the club, they look more graceful and they certainly are more powerful. Think about it this way. If you took an Ernie Els or someone who's very graceful with their swing, when they get to impact, if the wrist don't break, the lever goes from the shoulder to the club head. So that's the extension they have with combined with their weight shift and the speed of their swing. Right. If the average golfer comes to impact and he slaps at it with his wrist, all he's got is a lever the length of the club. He's reduced the lever by 50%. Loss of power, loss, loss of, of power. accuracy. Well, loss of direction and yeah. power. You know, it's, it, it's all about angle of attack. Is the club face square coming through the hitting area? Are you hitting the ball on the way down? When you watch a good player hit a shot, if it's an iron shot, it'll hit, bounce a couple of times, and spin back on the green. It's because their hands are in front of the ball, and the club caught the ball on the way down. Hitting the ball first, creating right. the downward, the on downward the way force down. and the spin. And having the hands in front ensure that. Well, Scott, we're running out of time, but before we go, in case viewers might have uh, some questions for you or any other information they want about the golf swing, is there a way to contact you? Absolutely. You can contact me at scottwin100, that's 100, at gmail.com. scottwin100 at gmail.com. That's it. Well, Scott, what a pleasure to have you. My pleasure. Thank I you. I hope you come back and Thank see you, us Daniel. real soon. Fascinating stuff. I come can't see wait us to... in Aspen. I, I, boy, you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Can't wait to get out on the range today and, and try this out. Wonderful. I'm Let sure me know how it works. I will. Certainly okay. will. That's all the time we have today on Golf Weekly. Um, what an exciting two weeks we have in store for us for golfers. We've got the Masters this week, followed by our beloved Heritage. And we hope that you will join us next week on Golf Weekly.